is the machine we use for the nitrogen application or putting the fertiliser on the flip on the wheat, which is uh, the plant food which makes it grow. Once again, if you want me, we go into there to see the wabba. And then we select the task we want, which is the next field. And then we type in Field in the area, which is 13, 39.8. The crop, which is winter wheat, which we just put WW. Then we have to, the crop is winter wheat, the growth stage is 36, the nitrogen content is. 34.5%. The target rate we want to put on is 100 kilos of nitrogen. Now, 100 kilos of product contains 34.5% nitrogen. So we need to put on 60 kilos, but the maximum will allow it to go up to 100, and the minimum will allow it to put nothing on. The relative biomass cutoff is 20%. In other words, the 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 greener it is, then it can. If it gets really green, it can then cut off. And we have to apply a calibration, and then we get our distance, the reference, and the signal nitrogen. The figure you can see changing here is actually units of nitrogen it's putting on. The figure you see underneath is actually kilos of product it is putting on. I said earlier that nitrogen is 34.5%, so for 49 kilos you need to put 144 kilos of, of the base product on. The advantage of um, if it being variable is so that where the crop actually needs more nitrogen, then the spreader then will give it more, and where it doesn't, it will give it less. Now we've actually pulled out onto the yard where there isn't any crop or any biomass or green, you've got this signal come up and it actually thinks that it needs a lot of nitrogen, so it's actually put it up nearly to the 100, which is nearly our maximum setting. So I will now switch it off. And then we can take our memory card out which has stored all our information and uh, we can then go and see the map.